<laughs> All right. Let's read another book. Caps for Sale. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler, peddler carrying his wars on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and at the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight, as to not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street. He walked down the street calling caps. Caps for sale. 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry. But he had, not, he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of the town. Slowly, slowly as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. But he, he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back, little by little, against the tree trunk, so not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put his hands to feel if they were straight, First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, and the brown caps, and the blue caps, and the, gray, the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt his hand to make sure that his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checkered hat, cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in the back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? Every branch, on every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their finger back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. This made the peddler angry. So he took both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Now he felt quite angry. He stomped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped their feet back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. By this time, the peller was really very, very angry. He st stamped the foot, both his feet, and he shouted, you monkeys, you, you must not give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped, stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap 
all the gray caps, all the brown caps, all the blue caps, all the red caps. And they all came down flying out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his cap, his caps, and put them back on his head. First his own checkered hat, checkered cap, then his gray caps, then his brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly he walked away to town calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Was this a funny book? I thought this was a funny book. You monkeys, you behave at home. 